Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we are to jump straight away uh, into the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents a Taurus topic for the week, this is going to be uh, the Judgment card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that uh, you guys need to stand against here. This is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect of the week and that will be uh, the Ace of Pentacles. And then the last one, which we do have, which stands for the guidance the tower is offering to you, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So once again, um, Judgment card, followed by uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the Ace of Pentacles. And the final one is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. My, uh, all right, so uh, Taurus, um, well, pretty much what this uh, reading shows up here it is that whatever you thought is hopeless and extremely fragile and even broken uh, turns out to be not as bad as you thought it is. And actually, it's not beyond any repair, as a matter of fact, uh, here throughout this week, uh, you are to... Um, discover let's say a way how to save it right like saving your marriage you know like saving your career like saving this important project that's um it's it's almost done and over you know in a negative way or simply maybe as well saving your financial state the point is that you are to have a significant improvement throughout this week into a field that you almost gave up. I mean, almost. And that is due to the fact, guys, that you um, were somewhat blinded, if I may say it that way, and you could not see beforehand a uh, option available that was out there, thrown out there, all right? But for one or, an or another reason, like I said, you just haven't thought about it too much, or rather like you did not sow it as efficient as it can be. But nonetheless, going to the first card here, which is the general topic, that will be the judgment, and the judgment represents the breakthrough. It's simply the way I like to see the judgment in the grand scheme of things, it is like one is trying to uh, make a breakthrough um, in a certain endeavor, you know, and tries one way, then tries another way, a third way maybe, and everything, it's, and every, way, every time that one tries, it simply isn't working out. It's because one is not trying the right way. So throughout this week, miraculously the right way, how you can do it, you know, is going to be simply revealed in front of you. Because the judgment represents 
uh, when the hub falls in the shaft, all right? When everything comes together, when everything starts making sense, when um, simply, uh, you know, how can I describe it? Um, the pieces of the puzzle are now forming the whole picture. And as you can see the whole picture, you pretty much know now what you have to do, you know? Should you do it? Well, that's entirely up to you. And also, uh, this uh, in this specific uh, <clears throat> narrative, all right, as I'm saying, something that uh, you thought it is beyond repair actually turns out to be um, to not be beyond repair, all right, and you can definitely save it. I could as well mean reconciliation, okay, with uh, with an ex boyfriend or with an ex girlfriend or with an ex wife or a husband, and etc. etc. The accompanied card here is going to be the. Um, the high priestess so the formation it is a uh, active uh, enemies that we do have and definitely passiveness is something that you should not exert throughout the week or incorporate as soon as this new evidence all right or new circumstances or despite what kind of a form you know this wake-up call is going to come to you because it's going to be a wake-up call you know let's say a circumstance is happening and that's your wake-up call all right and information comes around that it is entirely new and completely changes how how the whole thing develops well that is your wake-up call as well um, an insight also could be your wake-up call so as soon as um, as soon as this wake-up call comes around to your changing of the circumstances and information or whatever you know you have to act upon it like i said passiveness it is the only thing here uh, that's simply is going to definitely lead you to a um deterioration of of that specific of that specific situation so uh the challenge uh, that you do have to overcome is going to be the ten of pentacles so it does depend uh in what field the judgment manifests itself for you all right but that the challenge could be finances in a sense of that let's say you try you're trying to establish a private business and it isn't working out until this very moment and now you know the circumstances changes and you realize that now is the moment to establish that thing okay now it is now or never because the uh, the environment is not going to be any better anytime soon but you lack the funding so you have to find a way how you can get those money either from a bank loan you know in an investor and etc etc the card also could relate with con comfortability and independence as well so it may it also may mean that you will have to side with someone you know in order to execute this new approach toward the situation that will allow you to prevail in it the card also may speak about trust especially if we're talking about reconciliation, you may find it challenging, you know, to, uh, to place your trust once again into this person, which betrayed it back in the days. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the Emperor, and so the formation, it is a passive neutrals that we do have, and it's very difficult to describe that specific situation. I will try to say it that way. You will have to uh, look outside of your current means that you do have, all right? Find a strength outside of yourself, if that makes uh, any sense. You will try to describe everything with rules, you know, and patterns and all these kind of stuff. But actually, the answer to overcoming this challenge of either trust, funding, you know, or independence or whatever reside, resides elsewhere. So you will have to restructure a little bit your plan, your environment, you know, probably the code of conduit as well. So be agile if I uh, and, and, and adaptable, if I may express it that way. Going with... Um, <clears throat> established concepts and patterns and uh, bias thinking as well it's only going to deprive you you know from taking full advantage of such amazingly arranged uh, circumstances that are opening in front of you and now we go to the next card which is the positive aspect here and that will be the ace of pentacles and this card only plays out if you take advantage of these new circumstances and what the card points here is those circumstances <clears throat> you know either events like i said or a um, an insight or, or 
or, or an information, they are going to appear to be a rare opportunity to not just resuscitate, but also further, uh, further your goal. Uh, throughout, as soon as this process starts, you're going to experience a great amount of content, you know, and also an uh, quite of an exhilarating and uh, optimistic Expect, uh, not expectations, but standpoints. So in general, you know, you are going to revive the hope within you. The Ace of Pentacles here points that should we talk about relationship, then this card establish a harmonious flow into that relationship. And should we talk about business, then the card promises success in whatever business endeavor you are executing through the new circumstances that the judgment it is offering to you. The accompanied card is going to be the Eight of Wands, the formation, it is a active neutrals. <clears throat> so the process is going to be uh, slow, but thorough and consistent as well. There won't be many things that are exerting vagueness and in instability uh, in you through, for example, this reconciliation and establishing a new, that old relationship, you know, or moving with uh, your new found business, you know, things aren't going to develop with a rapid speed, but in the same time, there won't be any risky moves that you will have to take in order to proceed on forward with it. So the, to me, what this thing looks like, it is something long term and yet slowly developed, doomed to succeed kind of uh, endeavor. But that is only if you answer the call that the new circumstances is, are going to give you. And uh, then we go to the uh, last card for you, Taurus, which is uh, the um, guidance here. And we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So what the Queen of Pentacles as a guidance is, is that there is always a way out, okay? Or there is always a way um, how one can proceed forward. What I'm trying to say here is that the Queen of Pentacles is pointing that there are options available heretofore unexplored by you, okay? And this week, it is where those options available are going to just become obvious to you. And it's up to you before you strive to different agenda, like being in a different relationship from your previous one, all right, or trying to find a, a different job and trying harder in this one from a, a different angle, all right. You should really explore those new, um, newly appearing, let's say, potentials. That are uh, that are uncovered to you by the new circumstances that the judgment it is offering, and the uh, accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Swords, the formation. It is a passive enemies that we do have, and it's not going to be that hard at all with the Ace of Swords here to the Queen of Pentacles. Pretty much the only hard thing that you're gonna that you're going to experience throughout this process is just believing in it, you know, and making the first steps. From now, for what it seems everything will come pretty natural, you know, and deprived from stress, deprived from a uh, from frantic sense that something it is, it, it is kind of like ruining itself down, you know, and um, in, in generally, uh, how can I place it a, um, <clears throat> a stance of, of hysteria, okay. So it's, it seems quite of a, a calm advance. And, uh, how do you say when you um, finally can have time to kind of like calm yourself down, catch up your breath, knowing that everything is going to be okay? Because pretty much this is what these guidance cards are saying, that the, the, the worst or rather like the hard part, it is over. And the hard part was for you to see these newly forming circumstances and options available. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.